हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन देयर एंड इन ट्रिकोपीडिया सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इज हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द सेंट्रोइड पॉइंट जनरली वी अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला फॉर सेंट्रोइड पॉइंट एंड व्हाट इज दैट फॉर्मूला फॉर सेंट्रोइड पॉइंट द फॉर्मूला इज सम ऑफ पोल्स माइनस सम ऑफ जीरो डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ पोल माइनस नंबर ऑफ जीरो this is the formula that we use to calculate the centroid point but sometime it's very difficult to calculate the pole location and the zeros location okay now how to do that if there is if you don't know the pole location and zeros location let's say gshs is given to you gshs is given as f square plus 10s plus 30 divided by s to the power 5 or k into okay s to the power 5 plus 10 or maybe 16 s to the power 4 plus 10 s cube plus 20 s square plus 5 s plus 5 let's say it is given to you so this is my gshs and i need to find the centroid point how to find the centroid point if you go into the calculation of pole location and zeros location it will be very difficult to solve but you can directly see the sum of the poles in this expression we know that the denominator will show you the pole location so from this denominator from this denominator you can see that the coefficient of the second highest power and if you take the negative of that that will be the sum of the pole so sum of the pole will be minus 16 and what is the sum of zeros the sum of zeros is you can go in the numerator and look at the second highest power highest power in the numerator is 2 second highest is 10 you take the negative of that so it will be minus 10 this is the sum of zeros and this is the sum of pole so i can i can i can calculate the centroid point like this minus 16 plus 10 if you put these values divide by number of pole minus number of zeros now how many poles are there poles are 5 and zeros are 2 you can see the power and there you can calculate it will be minus 6 divided by 3 so centroid came out to be minus 2 so at minus 2 you'll get the centroid okay now you can see that in this type of problem you cannot calculate the pole location so if you cannot calculate the pole location how to calculate the sum of the pole directly you can calculate from there okay so this is a good trick and i hope uh, you like it so use this trick to calculate the centroid point no need to calculate the exact location of the pole and the zeros you can calculate this value only with the help of coefficients okay so guys uh, thank you for uh, uh, um, showing interest in this session and uh, this type of video you will see in upcoming sessions also so that's all in the trickopedia session don't forget to like and subscribe our channel take care bye